Hey, from Area 51 Raceway. So I'm here with the um, Thunderbird that I built from a scale electric body. So I basically got a scale electric slot car that was on sale from Slot Car Corner. And that's the chassis to that. Basically took the body, uh, took the interior out and everything, cut off the, uh, the pieces that you needed, obviously the posts that go to that. Um, took the windows, you know, they pop right out in the interior. Stuck this in alcohol, 91% isopropylene alcohol for about, maybe about an hour, flipped it around. It was like quarter, kind of like halfway, a little over half submerged. And all the decals, of course, it's tampos, they came right off. I uh, then cleaned the car and I painted it with Rust-Oleum cherry red paint or apple red paint. And I built a chassis for it. Uh, I was gonna tune this chassis, but you know what? I figured the hell with it. I'll just build a chassis for this, why not? And I did, and this is a, uh, obviously a custom brass built chassis. These are uh, Paul Gage tires. And then I have the uh, CB wheels. And I basically, you know, set the body up. I had to shim the body up here, or put little shims right here, little axle shims to lift it up a little. I could have probably used a, uh, a uh, Dremel to trim it more, but I figured I like it at this body height. It you know looks pretty good, and uh, I'm only missing one decal for the tire because I the other one messed up. So, <laughs> but probably need to do a little more detail work on this car, like that you know paint it silver in the front with the lights and the radiator grill. This is supposed to be the chicken pit uh, Strucker Ace car, but the decals I got sucked because uh, they're terrible. I won't even get into that. They don't make it in one thirty second scale, so I'll probably put a different number on this. This car runs really well. This is a, uh, I believe a Predator motor, 18,000 RPM motor. I was thinking of putting a Piranha one, make it a little bit quicker, but it actually handles real nice. We'll put it on the track so you can see it run. And uh, at 10 volts, this thing runs pretty good. For, uh, it hangs on real well. It's almost like it runs like it has a magnet on it, but it doesn't. So I'll go ahead and just give it a whirl so you can see it. I'm about full throttle right there, basically. Come around here. And I can tell, like it's like it's got a magnet, but it doesn't. But it's got a little slide out right there. But oh, there we go. <laughs> holds holds on pretty good when it does that. I can put a piranha motor in this or. Turn up the voltage if I want the 12 volts. This is running at 10 volts right now. Oh, now it finally came off there. Talking about how well it stayed on. But that's um, pretty much what you could do with a car that if you like the body and uh, don't like how the chassis works on, you know, a plastic slot cars, you could build yourself a brass chassis for this. And this is all I did was just build a brass chassis and put the scale electric body on it and you know there's also scale electric bodies available out there if you just want to buy the bodies from ebay and uh this was a pretty simple build it wasn't complicated i used the uh slotting plus wood guy and i'm actually starting to like these more and more for 132nd to be honest the uh it's a nice deep wood guy and you can always trim it down if you need to if it sticks out too much and it hits your you know bumper you could cut it down but this guy really does really well and it keeps the car on there and it does well for some 124 excuse me 125th 124 scale cars i do have this type of guy on a 124 fiddle that i have on the camaro and it actually runs really good but that's a wire chassis you can see that that really hangs on there really good when it does that <laughs> A little simple build, you know, you could do with some of these bodies if you don't want to use the manufacturer's chassis, you know. Just a little idea there if you guys are interested in doing something like that. And again, simple chassis build, nothing complicated. It's kind of like the one I built for this, uh, the Lamb Barge, this one right here that I did videos on. It's just the 132nd scale version of it. And as you get more experience and build more, you can, you know, you start doing this kind of stuff. The other one I was talking about that has the uh, the slotting plus guide is this Camaro. As you can see, I cut it down because it was sticking out too much. And this one's a wire chassis build. A little different approach on this. This car runs really smooth also on this track. Uh, I still have to put an interior on it, which I have to work on. This is a 1 8 axle. So it is basically a, uh, I think it's a 9 tooth uh, 27 
Pro Gear. <coughs> with the Predator motor, of course. The uh, long can motor. And this one runs pretty smooth too, as you can see. Put up the camera there. And it hangs on real well. I need to build the interior for this, which is going to be easy. I'll just use a tray one. Oh, it popped right off right there. <laughs> That's usually a spot I like to do that there in turn two. Uh, sometimes it pop out. But <clears throat> it's just uh, little little things that you kind of learn as you go. Again, you're going to build your cards and you're going to find out what works for you and what you like. Uh, I've been dabbling in all kinds of different things. But doing this was fun, this little car. I like this little Thunderbird. It runs really good. Uh, I think it does real well. So I've seen it repeatedly say when I sometimes I build these things, but this one's a lot of fun to drive. It scoots pretty well. If I was to put a 4 RPM in this motor, it may be too much for it, but this almost like a perfect balance for this car because it really hangs on really nicely and it's fun to drive. You know, it probably needs a little tire cleaning there. So, I mean, just keep in mind you could do things with with the manufacturer's bodies if you don't want to use their chassis and build your own brass chassis for it just like this one so that's it for Mario 51 Raceway just for sharing that doing a lot of videos tonight since I have time it's been a busy week at work so that's it from uh, Area 51 Raceway and uh, well, I'll do some more stuff tomorrow on Christmas Eve and uh, see if I get to do some chassis builds uh, that's it take care and you have fun racing